This is my well, but my pigs in the corner of my furthest pasture is way over there. It won't pump that high and far. It's best on a permaculture farm that you have water and you have it above you. Here it is. See this little creek? All we gotta do is fall that to top edge of our property. Hey, this is how we used to do, Jonah. Used to putz around with me in the afternoon. It was just you and I. Now the other kids had interest. Can I get in it? Are you serious? Kind of. That Jilly. would feel good after a hike in here, huh? I'll dig my head cool. in. Yeah, I'm happy I didn't get in. That's cold. I'll show you guys this in one second, but we're not quite to the top of this system yet. Here it is. This is what makes this system special. Our property line is just 20 feet up through there. We have this creek running through. I like Jonah's idea of dipping his head. We have a side of an IBC tote drilled with holes into it. A little styrofoam piece to make this gap a fast drying water cement plus Oh, these lag screws. This is sheer rock. How are you gonna get this secure in there? Well, that's how. Little screws, some water cement. Drill an outlet hole in here for our one inch drainage pipe. That goes on down through here. The next part, part B of the system, is a Carolina water tank spring box. Look how fast that's coming in here. We have a sediment catch at the bottom of this. See how it's built? It's built with a sediment catch. This is basically a filter. Our other line that that's filling up is going right down there to our tank. This is also a Carolina water tank. Fortunately for me, they're 45 minutes away, but they also ship anywhere in the US. So water fills up so that you actually have a 225 gallon reservoir of water. So you could call upon a lot of water for a while. We got more water coming in. That's pretty fast. That's probably a couple gallons a minute. We have an overflow pipe up high. The overflow drain is right there and it's taking it back over to the little creek. Our water supply line, well, it's leaking. We need to come put a couple more clamps on it. We can shut it off to work on it. And this line, it's at the bottom of the tank. So if I wanted to demand this water, right now it's shut off at the bottom. If I wanted to demand it, I could get this much and then it could take the day throughout to fill back up. But I, max, I'm gonna need 150 gallons a day. So this is a lot of redundancy right here. The water line goes through here, slightly down contour for a thousand feet. And it comes out at the edge of our property where the pigs are right now. Line comes off the mountain to our established trail system into a, well, it's got 70 pounds of pressure by now. It's like dropping 150 feet. We put a pressure regulator on this and it comes into a T and we can keep going that way. We're gonna build more line that way. We're not quite to the end of the property. Right now it's going all the way back. We can water our fruit trees. We can water our livestock in our field. We have a hose hooked up to our T and let's open it. Look at that pressure coming down. And that's slowed it down to 35 PSI. Let's go check out the water system. Because I have a, a connection every 100 feet, well, here are the pigs. But what am I gonna do when they're over there? Well, I just connect up there. It's coming down, wrap it around this tank. We're filling it up. Yep, we'll give it a good feel right now. Look at you guys, ha fat and happy in the shade. We got three nipples on this thing. I also did the 225 gallon water on this thing so they can never push it over. The lowest water will get right there, so there's always a weight on it, even if you guys can't get any water. But the really cool thing about this, especially in the winter, is we have an outlet here to where when this fills up it'll drain right here causing another gravity push and we can hook up a outlet hose here and say if our creek's nearby it's not i mean we could run a hose to it eventually we're going to run it back into the line lower down the water supply line but this can drain and then it becomes an everflow waterer and it's less likely to freeze and you never have to come down here and turn the water on. It's like, it's always full. And that's fresh, cold mountain water. No electricity required. Here's all your asparagus for lunch. But can we get under it with a string trimmer? Or else we're gonna have a jungle inside our protected trees. Couldn't really get under it that great, but 
I was able to get over it okay. Works, either way. Look who's turning compost. All she can eat, corn. Mmm, cold. That cover crop comes back quick. You don't get it covered. What you working on here with Jenna? We're just making some changes that I have so since thought about since the final plans. Like making my pantry bigger, taking some of the walk-in closet, like doing, we're switching this wall around. You're moving that wall over two feet? Yeah, we yeah. moved the wall over two we feet. Made the island a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Is this interior designer approved? Yes. <laughs> She's giving me her expert opinion as yes. well. Yeah, yeah like really distances good. between things, oh. like the island and the yeah. Well, this is one thing. Cabinets. We're, we're getting knew? rid of the lift. We <laughs> lift's gonna have to be phased <laughs> another <or> time. <laughs> well, then if you want, I mean, we could make the island even a little even bigger. Yeah. It's already nine feet. How much? How long? <laughs> ten. Day. Okay. Let's She's see. going ten. She's gonna open up a restaurant. <laughs> the Holler House Cafe. I have Holler a restaurant. House. What's it called? With so many people. I feed how many meals do oh, I feed no. a day? Or like do like a chevron. I start from right here and go all the way to the other road. Pretty sure. If you follow these two posts, you'll be able to stay on contour. We're talking about digging these water lines. Not necessarily to keep them unfrozen because we run the cows in the pole barn in the winter. To keep them unexposed so the sun doesn't cause leaching. So the plastic then leaches and so the lowers don't hit it. So the milk sled doesn't hit it. How are we going to um, make the teas underground? Are you just going to get a piece of pipe? You have to make you have to make a T and just bring it up, and then you make the connections above yes. the ground. Joel Salatin does. He puts a pipe in the ground that the hose goes to, like a plastic oh, really? ground pipe, uh -huh. and that the T comes up. So the I hose runs to it. You put the T on. I saw it at his place. It's a whole project if we do that. I mean, it's a whole big old project that we probably don't have time for, and we, we need to save for. This is more of a yeah. let's just get it under the ground and off the out of the sun and off the field, right? Yeah. We just lay it on top till we figure out how to properly bury a line. Because I'm afraid if we just do it six inches, it could it will still freeze in some areas. There'll be water and it'll burst the line. Let's look how deep the frost line, the what, the freezing line is on here. It's probably at least two, two, three feet here in North Carolina. I think it'll do it, but it'll take a while. And then, then we could run a pipe out of it out like this but that would fill up with water i mean we could drain it i guess in the winter if we leave mm -hmm. this open the ice will just push itself out i would think that but in places where maybe there's a divot in our line underground it could freeze that's probably our best bet is to bury the line three feet but then what if there's leaks what if we don't that's why i was doing it six so that Can we I... could see it i feel like maybe i should ask somebody before we start okay. committing to the dig because that's gonna govern our footing. I don't know. I, I, I guess you just need to d dig it deep. He's wanting so bad to use the trencher. Yeah. We need to bury our electrical line too. And then and just keep it exposed for a while and we'll make sure there's no leaks. We'll just come out of it for our connections and drain it the best we can in the winter. You want a roughly two feet deep? That's two, two and was. a half feet deep. And then that will protect any sagging we have in the line because it won't freeze that low. How they doing my man? Week two, not one turkey has died. She doesn't like eating with us, so we're out. We found a job for Jonah. It doesn't hurt your leg at all? Good. making such quick work of it, it doesn't matter if we necessarily if we make a mistake it's not gonna be that hard to rework. We have a current line at the edge of the woods it's gonna come down here to this T post and these T posts here are on contour and we're gonna have a water line right through the middle of this pasture. The cows are there they're winding that way and then they're gonna come into here and we're gonna need water. Three hours later, and Jonah has dug us a trench. Is this the end of your trench work? This is where you started? Yeah. No, you cannot start. This is terrible. Is this as close as you could get to these T-posts? I think so. 
That's not bad. It'll work. There's a rock right there. I think it gets deeper. Good night. Look at this rock. Dude, this would take forever by hand. Now that's deep. And that's not. Our existing line. I think it'll do it. Yeah, that's probably not how we're supposed to do it, huh? Now, let's twist it. Wow, okay. We're gonna hook it up up here. This is full of water. No <laughs> shut off right here. A little of a shut off right here. And shut it off. Going in. Hey, I forgot the tool bag. You wanna go get it? You wanna work hard labor in the noonday sun? Mm -hmm. And we're back. This is gonna spray. Got my tea on. Unfortunately, I got, forgot my torch, so we're just gonna get all the devices on. Then we'll heat it up tomorrow and get it together. Look all the roots here. I know, we're gonna have to kind of shove it in as we go down. Is this Henry's first watermelon? I believe it is. He's coming into his own. Wait, did you swallow a watermelon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you swallowed one. You're supposed to chew it first. No. You ready to go? We could be crazy early if we go. 604. Where's your socks, bro? Not need them? How cold is it? I don't know. Sweater weather? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Your hair looks nice. Thanks. Especially compared to Gideon. You've combed it? Yeah. Your jeans, though, you have socks. Good morning, Winnie. I'm the biggest wheelie in the world. You sure you two shouldn't switch? Yeah, we should. Okay, what are you bringing that for? Oh boy. We gotta get the raspberries out soon. We filled another dumpster. Oh yeah, those lights don't work. Gideon wants to see the update on the remodel. I don't know if we can, man. Oh, can you turn on that light? How do you turn it on? How's that? Okay. Should be a button. Come down here, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, should be plugged in, bro. <laughs> that was it. Oh, wow. They ripped out the wall, going upstairs. The stairs are switching places. They're gonna alternate and go in here. They ripped out the wall in between here and the walk-in freezer. They didn't pause and get out that wood right there. Yeah, the light works. Okay, look. This is coming down. We're open here. There's the stairs coming that way. They're gonna come this way. That wall's coming out. It's gonna be tricky because it's up on blocks and it's load-bearing. Two holes. Oh yeah, two holes to the outside. We have halted this mold, just so you know, and these boards are all going out and gonna be replaced. Or actually, this is gonna be open concept right here. Well, look, we haven't cleared out everything. Yeah, what'd you find? I saw a ball. <laughs> Does this light work in here? When are you guys gonna clean out your Lego room? The last stall to go. Hmm? I don't know. That's gonna be our new door. That's gonna be, I think this is our mud room-ish. You taking care of the pulps and chicks, Bird? Yeah. What you listening to? Um, Pindorex. Turkey pulps look good. Where's their rooster teeth, Lily? They don't eat it, so I gave Yeah, they do. The chicks eat it, but the turkeys don't. They need some. You give them those greens? Cool. Are you gonna wanna switch this quart jar out? We, I got a new gallon water. Sure. You do that, I'll get their grip. How about you go get the water, because I don't wanna walk all the way out there. Okay. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> you wanna do it now? Okay. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Turkeys are ferocious rooster teeth eaters. Put some rooster teeth on here for me. This is little tiny rocks. Okay. See, these poultry don't have teeth. They swallow little rocks and they put it in their gizzard. And that little muscle grinds up the food for them like teeth. Hence, rooster teeth. Let's go ahead and unplug this. They've been in here a week. They still have the brooder keeping them warm. They like, don't they? Te gusta? Whoa! Did the chicks run out of feed, Lily? Yeah, they did run out of feed. Okay, we might have to start a third one. You did the breakfast posse? Um, yeah. Come on, Gideon, we'll do chicken tractor. Lily, you wanna come help us move the chicken tractor? Lily's not gonna help us. You think you could do it? Probably. The chicken tractor weighs about 120 pounds. Just found that out from Chris Slattery, my co-author on this Homestead Builds book. These will be the first official plants available. Uh-oh, we gotta go get food too, right? No, they, she's fed them. Let's see if you and I can move them. The last raised bed is the most grown baby. It is, it got wild. Stand next to it, we'll see how tall it is. It's gotten crazy. Hey, Papa, Papa, Papa. These plants will actually be available right away to anybody who backs our Kickstarter for this book, Homestead Bill. We're doing it. One person's moving this. Here, I'll lift it up and you can shove it in. Go ahead. 
By the way, this chicken tractor is designed to fit snugly on these raised beds. We had an escape the other day, so we have no chickens in here. It's a perfect companion for the compost corner, which Chris has given me some homework on this. I need to go around and get him all the hardware that goes on this so you can come up with a nice graphic and parts list. Catching them? I'll come help you. We're kickstarting that new book June 1st. I want to show you guys something very interesting. We cleaned out a poison ivy. Sean, he came and helped us and volunteered, threw it in here. But I'm glad he did because look what the chickens did to it. Apron wearing permaculture chicken ninja master. I didn't know chickens would eat poison ivy. Always learning something. Stay with me guys. June 1st on that Kickstarter. Wait, you gotta focus on one. They trick you, they trick you. Which one are we looking at? The littlest one. Here, you get over there. Get the bearded lady, okay? Do you know which one the bearded lady yes. is? Okay, you stay on that side. I'm gonna stay on this side. <laughs> bearded lady. Oh my goodness, you let what you let it go. Let me show you how to hold it. I think that's a rooster. Two hands, just like that. And you can't get flapped or pecked. Even better, if you hold it like this. Pretty shawl, this compost corner, the chicken tractor, the raised beds, and more. Gardens and chicken. Book one, homestead builds. You can sign up for the wait list it's on that cool. and get all kinds of bonuses now at homesteadbuilds.com. We need to They slow on the grass. They do, don't they? They don't like tall grass. They work it out. Yeah, they dipped up on their perches. <laughs> Leftover cover crop. Can easily be pulled now. Look at that. Well, that one can't be, but most of it can be. Here's y'all's greens for the day. Look at him running towards it. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three, four. Four beds ready to plant. Mm -hmm. You sure you can do this? Yeah. They're asking me to drive T posts with the track loader. I mean, excavator. Check the trees. Excavator. Where'd you get that idea? Andrew, he's pushing those <laughs> posts in. Push those greenhouse posts in, didn't he? Uh -huh. You've got the camera to document you guys trying. Not crushing it. <laughs> Gotta let them try stuff, even if you don't think it's gonna work. Actually, they probably have a 60% chance it's gonna work. Look who I got. Give you a hint. Wow. Tractor toys. Henry! It's working. Did you know it would work? Yes, I knew it would work. What? <laughs> <laughs> that makes it easier. Huh? No pounding? <laughs> Leave it to you guys to find yeah. a purpose for this thing every day. What are you measuring it to? Or, um, 47. Just a hair under four feet? Yeah. Post four feet apart means we can wrap a 16 foot woven wire around this thing. And it protects our little trees from the cows, which are coming here very soon. This will be a rub, a shade, a fly trap for the cows, but they have no delayed gratification. They will eat these maple leaves. If not them, the sheep will too. Good morning, honey. We forgot alfalfa. We just got out of the sun. It's cold without the sun. <laughs> Let's get the alfalfa and get back out there in the sun. Says they're keeping you warm. Aren't you fat and happy? <laughs> All you can eat corn buffet. Who does that chicken belong to? Which posse? It's near impossible to keep chickens in. I know it's not from the yard posse. Shall we catch her while she's in this corner? She's gonna smart me. Get in, can you go around? Oh, she's outsmarting us. Good morning, chanchos. You stretching, you big old ham. You ready to go to the sun? Yeah. Look at that. We must have left the gate open. She's supposed to be over here. Here comes the sun. Oh, ain't that warm? That's warm. Now he's crying for mama. That's not helping. We're backing out. You want to go play with Henry? Sure. I think Mama's paying the bills. So you distract Henry and play with him. Henry's over it. Okay. Can I leave Gideon to play with him? Okay. Send him out if he misbehaves. Honey's out. Yeah, we're going to get her. We know. Shit.
Thank you, guys. You find the alfalfa all right? Well, even you're getting hand shy, huh? I need to come pet you guys more often. There we go. Just get in that grub. You're not going one nowhere. You give us babies every year. This is the paddock they worry in. I want you to see something. This is why cows and sheep are perfect together. The cows ate the choice ice cream grass. And look at what the sheep ate. They ate this bramble. And now more grass will come back for the cows. This bramble will start dying off, which cows are a priority, so that's a good thing. Look at this. They ate that all the way up, halfway up it. What one's Gideon cut down, they totally demolished. The trench. Smells delicious in here. The trench will now not freeze down. down nice. Deep pipes. trench. Uh -huh. Hey, how was it with Henry? Oh, well, not too well. He's not even here. There you are. Eat something besides your mom. How'd Gideon do with him? <laughs> Is that a raving review or what, Gideon? Yeah. <laughs> nice. He combed his hair. What would you do without your little frother? I'm going to buy something different because it's not great for frothing. Oh. What's the problem with it? It, it frosts too much. The kids don't like. Maybe if your kids would start swallowing pills. That's what I told them. What pills do you give Our them? Our thirds aren't made for it. So this one's called hey, Calms. Like? What does Calms yes. do? It's just like a nervous system calming. You blend it with apple juice. And then this one's oh, Inspirosal, no, which it's like a vitamin. It's like a methylation. So put it on the sweater. Baby, baby, baby. Is that for the baby? You ready to go? No. You taking your sword? No. Now you come with. No. But Papa, I have, I have to, I, I have to draw the plans for my cake. You can do that this afternoon. Hey, Gideon, don't tear up the walls like this. No, no. <laughs> Just how you gonna stay here with Henry? Yeah. Can you get something for me? I what? really need it. It's something to go on top of the cake. It says happy birthday. You stab it into the top of the cake and it says happy birthday on top of the cake. Where do I get that? Um, on Amazon. Here. Which one you want? Which one? This one, I think. Yeah, that one's a little more fancy. And do you want that? Yeah, I want a bed. It's so you can get your mattress off the ground. Hey, who's here? <laughs> Hey, good morning. Can I buy this sword from you? Hey, I want to turn the water off Please. for a while. I'll pay $20. Okay, it should be okay. Probably start needing it again in about an hour. Come on. How much water line can we get done in an hour and a half? Uh, I don't know. You want to go with us or you want to stay here and swing? Uh, uh. <clears throat> you want to come? Yeah. Of course, you can come. Every day is bring your kid to work day on Lala. the farm. Lala. You got to wear that sweater, bro. Ah. Chilly with this wind. First stop, heat it up and let's put them on tight. This thing has a lot of lift. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> who wants to drive Sally down and who wants to walk down putting that in the hole? I'll push it in the hole. Okay, that's better. Is it going in all right? Yeah. Okay, for the winter we'll have to drain it so it doesn't freeze. I want you to go a little ahead of me here because I'm about to drive over it and it's going to knock some dirt in. We are straddling it now. I could go on down the hill and turn this sideways. The the parking brake doesn't work on this thing. We're not going nowhere now. All right, roll it, Bo. Oh, no, no. Okay. Whew. Let's not cover it yet. Let's make sure we don't have any leaks. You getting warmed up? Do a T on this one because you'll want to have water here to, well, water the cows to this pasture and to water our trees. For your cut pieces, let's dedicate one of these hoses to cutting. Because I do like that these are 100 feet. And we have water every 100 foot. Water connection. And electricity connection. Our T will go down in there. Comes back up. We'll make a water connection right here. Lily, you come step on this. We got a connection sticking out. We'll put a T post here. Strap that to it. Well, we laid what? 200, 300 feet? Yeah. We got down the line, now all we gotta yeah. do is go horizontal. I say that, but that's probably most of the work. It's probably a thousand feet. You wanna ride? Yes! Papa and Mama went to Linda's plant, so me and Issa are gonna put the chicks in the brooder. It's got, oh my gosh. Before we can put the sea monsters in, we have to take the little chicks to out to pasture. That box is too little. We're gonna put the chicks in this orange Bend. They're going to be so much happier out here on grass. Now that these guys are out on pasture, we can put the sea monsters in the brooder. What the heck? That might have been a mistake. Dunk their heads so they know where the water is. Now we got all the chicks done. We had to graduate the layer chicks. 
a week early. Because the sea monsters came today, we should have spaced that better. They look okay. I don't like this wind though, it's particularly tonight. We're gonna have to get a little uh, brooder on them. We could put them out with the layer hens maybe the tonight. Ducket. We should get the brooder, plug it in and put hay around it. Can you get in? I got it. Evening chores with the frost coming. We can't leave the chicks like that. That rabbit pen is not gonna work. It's got no sides. You can hear the chicks. Yeah, stressed out. Look at Joe's uh, string chim job over here. We're still showing our front yard some love. Not our front yard right now. Did you feel like you, we were cheating on our front yard? Not working over here? That cabin is still part of our property, so anything- Well, no, but we could have been, been working over here in our- No, I don't want to work over here because there's too much construction. That's next mm. year. There's chances of damage. People who work on your house are not going to care mm -mm. like you do about your front yard. So if stuff gets damaged in here, it's just next year we'll deal with it. We'll have to gird up our loins and get rid of this cover crop ourselves. Okay, put her in there. I'm uh, You won't, don't want to leave that open because they could come out. She's a little rusty. Oh, we all have, we have them all on the floor. He is freaking out. He came over here. See what's going on. Winnie too. See this new feature that Chris added? What? Oh, that's Keep cool. Going. Hey, that's Look so at good. that. The perch becomes the prop. Do whatever it takes to not let it jump out. We'll never catch it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Assuring it does not help it. I know. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> Doesn't speak any English. That's cool. I like that. This chicken tractor will protect them from three sides. You know what I just thought of? And I hope it. It's not too late. We could put handles on this thing. I'm moving it enough, you know, moving it like that. Raised bed to raised bed, moving it like we just did. It's not always appropriate to drag it. Let's add some handle options. Becca's hands are killing her. We got that set to wall side to the hillside, which is where the cold air will be coming down from. See, these guys are just too exposed and they're not happy. See, they're all crunched up in there together. Got them underneath under the other brewer. They're staying under there. That's good. That could be difference between 40 live poultry in the morning and 40 uh, dead I'm ones. I'm pretty sure they would have died. And you got the hay. Is that blocking I the? Put, I put hay crack? kind of just like in the corner. So okay. if they want to go over there and snuggle right. in the hay, I mean, I don't know if that's going to okay. happen. It's going to frost hard tonight. Well, so it's a good call. We'll see. Because sometimes they say it's going to, and then it doesn't. He should do his eyes last. I have no idea what you just said. I need to digest. Digest? No. no. All right, digest while you're in sat. Oh, that's not yours? No, that's not You little. already drank? Yeah. Oh, okay. I need my tea to digest. Oh, okay. Well, you digest in Sally. Come on, no. Let's not mess with that right now. Jonah can do that. Okay. It did frost. I'm anxious to see how those chicks did. It's also really the last day I think I can do this cow's water and it has to get done. Really more to do than I think I can turn. Get on. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Warming up. We're a little distracted. Oh, you're warm. <laughs> Get your eggs. Are you waiting on me? All right, give me best day of their week. Woo! Free the birds. Whoa, you're getting heavy. I'll take you up there. He wants me to take him up the mountain board course with his bike. We do need to check on those outside chicks, though. I heard them a little bit this morning, so I don't think it's an emergency. Bring this just in case. We don't. You're not using your chicken tractor up top anymore. We needed it for these chicks. We've got some frost over there. We got no frost in here. I hear chirping, that's good. I see the electricity's still on, that's good. Let's see if we have any casualties of the frost. Wow. Yeah. Oh look, you do have one egg. The thing is, these chicks are only two weeks old. We had to make room for a new batch of chicks. Why we stacked them so much, I have no idea. These guys did fine, and now they're on grass. This little hover brooder by Premier One did a good job. I don't know if it's by Premier One. You can, I got it from Premier One. That's a heat plate. So it's not dangerous, it's not gonna, Accidentally burn your place down like a heat lamp. And then chicks get under there. They're not under there right now, but I bet you they were last night. 
They have their feathers. They don't have them around their head and stuff. And the goose Where doesn't. Where's the corner cosh? They're in the big bin. You want to go, go see, see them? them? Okay. Hey, why'd you want to see the sea monsters? See if the boxes are still here. Okay. So we mean that I can build ah. houses for them? I used them last night to move chicks and then I threw them on the way. Lily did a good job feeding them this morning. They're happy. I'm getting a drink. Good morning. We just have today to get that water line in because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing film projects with Dan all day. He's visiting from, I don't know. I realized today we're supposed to haul logs over to the mill. So Andrew, our graders, come and help with that. Plus we're getting a load of gravel. We're extending our parking area to right there. And we need some wood chips. We found out we can just buy 10 yards of wood chips for about $300, and it would cost probably three, four times that much for us to create our own wood chips. Mucho huevos. Lily, you all right? I'm tired. We're at the top. I don't want to make time for this, but I got to make time for this, right? You looking for skim? Yeah. There was only one bucket up here and I brought it down the other day. I'll go see if there's any milk down there left. I know we have some freezer in the freezer from the Harleys. It's frozen. Mm. Have they eaten it yet today? No. Whoa! You guys are getting so big. You're getting so big. So big. What if they'll go after this grain? Kind of. They're like, this ain't the milk. We need to keep them in grain all the time. Come here, guys. Let's go get some. I got them distracted with grain if you want to get their milk. Where'd you find some? Can you set some more out for tomorrow? Beef, how you doing? You having a good time? Can't do it while they're distracted. They're on you already. Here, here. There you go. That's as bad as you're going Just a bit. Watch this. They go nuts. They're fat. They don't. They're they're okay. They act like they're starving. Pigs are very dramatic. Big 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 big. About that when I put the chickens in there. They couldn't be more swarmed around that tree. Ugh. Those are just too good at their job. Yeah. That means grass and weeds will grow up around that tree now. I thought we put weed paper on it. We did. I'm sure they're gonna tear it to bits once they get down to it. Did we not feed them? I did. Yeah, look. I see their feet. They'd rather go for the... I mean, that's a testimony right there to the... How much chickens love deep bedding and wood chips. It's what they go for when they have the choice. You two ready to milk? Yeah. No. <laughs> Two more days and we're done with this pasture. Gotta get that water going. Sun is so close. Come on, come on, you can do it. How's that sun? Really, honey's blocking your sun. Hey, she's got milk, huh? The steers got in here somehow last night. Hey, milk, vanilla dry. Do you want to go make breakfast? Yeah, you want me to finish her? Yeah. Yeah, the boys found a job they like. We're gonna be right here. We've got to get water here, probably 800 feet to just above that. Hold on. They're having an argument. It wasn't facing the right direction. You knocked it over. We got to go all the way to that farmhouse. Too close to dynamite world. We've got a T. Down below, coming off the mountain. We'll go that way in a bit, but what we're interested in is going this way. I've got a, another T right there. We have a problem, you know. What's the problem? How are we gonna do, get to do this all today? Are we gonna do it all today? What? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We have to. All of it? Yeah, we got to. Now that we're past the T, I strung out 100 feet, no problem. We make the exact same connection all the way across here. It's gonna be pretty simple, I think. I think there's a good chance we're gonna do this, Gideon. Josiah's here to help. Now we're gonna get stuff done. Henry, are you helping? Yeah. You gonna be here to help? Yeah. How about you supervise? Everybody knows I'm here. It's going a lot better than yesterday. 300 feet, we got a little over an hour left. We probably got 500 feet to go. I think he overdid it on the depth, huh? It's like four feet deep. 
<laughs> I need to put some dirt back on. Lunch was good. Hey, uh, how was the meeting with the cabinet maker yeah, it was today? Great. We figured out like the setups of the, the cabinets. Yeah. For all the bathrooms. Do you have any drawings? No, I'm gonna show you. Okay. He has them all. So we designed all of the bathrooms and the utility room, and then he's gonna. We designed some of the kitchen, and then I, my homework is to figure out what exactly I want in my kitchen, and then he will do a design, and then. He'll show it to us and we review it and kind of figure out if we want things moved around or whatever. So yeah, it was really good. Another sickness. I know. What is the deal? Is she sleep? She is. Goodness. I know. Her temperature is... She was is acting tired today. 102. She got a temperature. She, I kept saying, you alright? Oh yeah. Because horse lessons. Now the horse lessons are over, she crashed. Well, she came in and, <laughs> and was like, I don't feel so good. And I was like, I knew you were sick before. Because I was like, I think, you need to get, I think you need to go to bed. That's what I was telling her earlier. I think you should <laughs> yeah. go get in your bed. I got to go see Andrew. He's here. Speaking of cabinets, this is our flooring. The poplar there is our, our cabinet. He wanted 20 sticks of poplar yeah. and all the walnut that's in that. Take the walnut separate. That's our cabinet. Oh. Get enough on there? <laughs> I don't think I could get any more. You could stack more. It'd just get too heavy, wouldn't it? Think it'll go across that bridge? I, I don't know. I really don't. I'm glad it's a dry day. Pulling it. Oh, here we go. Ah! Didn't phase that old bridge. Did it even bend? It bent. It bent? <laughs> You did it. Let's go test this water. Okay. You want to go with us? Or you want to go do dishes? I'll come with you. What about those dishes? They can wait till dinner. <laughs> dinner? dinner? No, they can't wait till dinner. Oh, fine. Mom's got to have a clean slate. Oh, I'm nervous. You nervous? Uh-huh. What if it doesn't work, Papa? It's the what ifs that make it fun. All right, do we have water to our cows or not? Hopefully now, the pressure from here all the way down there doesn't get too great. Oh, I hear it going easy. through there. It yeah. sounds down like the it's hill. going fast. I know. Hopefully we don't blow it out. We're gonna have to put another pressure regulator on it. Looks like it might be a little wet. No? No, it's good. Okay, okay let's turn it off. Good. Well, the pressure is not built up yet. Do we have to, it has to turn feel, it off down there? Oh, it has it, to, it have to fill everything up okay. to right there. And then the pressure would be good. Yes. Calm down. You're excited? Yeah. Why are you excited? Because I'm have to do dishes. Oh yeah, no! I think I just saw water spit out of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, heck yeah! I still hear water going through. Oh wait, I'm standing right in the line of it. Whoa! <laughs> turn it off so we can turn it on when it's all pressurized. Yeah, turn it off. Let's go see if we've got water down further. I can hear it still filling up. It's exciting. We're gravity feeding our pasture. Yeah. No well. No well required. It's just water always running on top of the mountain. Always. And we're just getting a little bit of it. Hey, watch this. We're just getting a little bit of it. This much. <laughs> he like he's getting punched later. Whee! Boom! That was on. It was coming out right there. If we got water there, we got air water everywhere. That's the end of the line. Oh, is there one open? I don't think so. Oh, there's one. We got water one away. So if he shuts that, I bet you'll get water. Watch out. Open it. No, why you keep pointing it at me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got water. We stopped working there all of a sudden. Well, I see our problem. But well, we got a waterfall. I guarantee you we got too much pressure on this. What do you think, Jesse? Yeah. Well, we shut that out. Was that even on? And I didn't put any shutoffs in it. Whoops. They tell me to watch something. I think they put it back on. Here are the top 10 tallest geysers in the world. <laughs> I'd say there's too much pressure on that line. What do you guys think? Just ordered this stuff at the local Lowe's. Get myself a pressure reducer. 
Look who did the dishes for Jonah. Mom. She's so kind. Look who insisted on getting up this morning. The problem is we're out Lily. Lily's sick. You're ready though. No, put those back. I've got a work day. Dan Omen, one of my editors, is here and we're gonna do some filming and editing work. Hey, what you need? Nothing. Thank thank God for you, bud. We have no Lily today, so I'm gonna have to do Lily's chores. Grandma got us pressure reducer yesterday. We hope to finish yesterday. Somehow we're gonna have to fit it in. He's begging to go. The problem is we, we're gonna have to get him ready and then he's gonna last 10 minutes. Uh-oh, I'm looking at this pressure reducer. I don't have any way to connect to this side. Wait, maybe I do. There's threaded inside. I definitely don't have the threaded outside. Henry's sweater, I thought it was in here, out here. I thought I saw it hanging. <laughs> I thought I saw it hanging in the straight where we like to keep it. What do we have? That'll fit in that. Okay, not that one. This one. Oh yeah. We're good here. <laughs> we have the parts. Here's a sweater. Do you want to go with me or you want to stay and play with him? Get in. Okay. You want to go? I found you a sweater. Can you go get it? I couldn't find it. Did you get it? No, what, what's that? I didn't think so. What's this? That's all purpose grease. Nothing exciting. Wait, there it is, right there. Yeah. We both walk right by it. It's on the porch where they like to keep it. Look what I found. Hey, we can go now. Yeah. How long are you gonna last? Okay, well, we got one kid ready. And guess what? Where are your shoes, Mr. Brown? Go find your shoes, please. And there's a cat in. It was one of those days. I was early. You're gonna be early doing chores. Hope this isn't telling. All right, come on. Did you find your, ja your shoes? Don't come in until you find your shoes. Let's go. Don't even come in. Come on. I'm falling off my jacket. Yeah. You ready? Hopefully your shoes are in Sally. There's his shoes. I found his shoes. Here you go. Dan's walking over. I must be late. Man, I was gonna be Lombardi times two. Lombardi, known for demanding his players arrive 15 minutes early to everything. And then I had to find a coat and some shoes. Dan! What's up? Up and at him this morning, huh? It's 3.30 in Idaho. Look at this guy. We even look more alike now. Uh, Got my jacket on. I finally retired my Carhartt jacket and went Patagonia. Yeah, so. bud. Hope you're not waning. We haven't even really started. What's wrong? Already? We've gathered the milk supplies. You sure? You wanna go? Yeah. Wanna go? You wanna drive? I was complaining about this to Rebecca earlier saying, you know, I go through 15 minutes to get him ready and then he, he doesn't even last 15 minutes. And she said, well, he'll be grown one day and taking care of you. See ya, go see your mom. Got caught up in everything I need to do, but I forgot to put the children on the to-do list because that's really the most important, isn't it? And none of this other stuff I'm doing today is probably gonna wipe my butt when I'm older. They will be there for me when that happens. What'd you just do? In the yard and in the brooder? Yeah. And you did the luchadors? Yeah. Wow, okay. You did the ones in the backyard, the little baby chicks not the chickens. Okay, I'll go do the chickens now. Look at this guy. At first I thought he was rolling in a Land Rover. Now wait a minute. The company dime pulling in a Land Rover. Hey, I, this I, is... <laughs> I ordered just like the standard SUV and this is, they said, hey, you want a Wagoneer? I don't even know what a Wagoneer was. And they just gave it to me. It looks nice. Oh, he's got the Abundance Plus credit card. He's going, he's going happy. <laughs> Dan's here on a filming assignment. We're actually getting Content and abundance plus for goats. Look at all that filming equipment. We had him film a goat expert that is not too far from me, a friend of mine. I figured if I can't stop you from getting those devil eyes, aka goats, you crazy goat ladies, uh, I'm gonna help you out. And we're gonna teach you how to uh, treat them naturally, like goat care 101. We is a strong word there, not me. The crazy goat lady master herself, Claire. We're gonna let Lily sleep in, hopefully recover. She says she's feeling better, but she's still a little dizzy, probably because she's dehydrated, but hopefully she's through that. But we're still gonna let her rest. What are you gonna do with your bike that's 10 times bigger than you? Claire didn't just teach about goats, she also taught about sheep. I'm gonna co-teach with her. Dan's gonna film some of that this morning. I think sheep are the new goats. They don't get out as bad, nearly as bad. They don't get the parasites as bad. They taste better. Sheep also eat bramble, poison ivy, all these annoying things. They also clear forest. But then, unlike goats, they, they can thrive 
on 100% grass. Goats can always need bramble. Her sunflowers are coming up. Interesting. And if we're being honest, many of you goaters don't even eat the goats. I don't know what it is. I think we're less intimidated to eat a sheep for whatever reason. And lamb tastes better. I know, you want the devil eyes for their small size and their milk. Don't let them fool you. Cows are easier. You can keep them in with one strand. They're more afraid of you. They make small cows, but they also make sheep that give milk. And oh my word. And you gotta catch goat milk, I believe, when it's fresh or else it tastes like male goat hair. How do I know what male goat hair tastes like? <laughs> Trust me, I don't. Maybe it's just, uh, I, how do we say those things? I guess it's what you would imagine it would taste like. After, after the goats peed on it to attract the female, sheep don't do that. Okay, so why did I get going on a rant about goats? I don't know. Sorry. Not sorry. Because <laughs> I love you goaters. And I'm not gonna judge you, I get it, I've had a goat. Pound for pound, best personalities of all livestock animals. So I get it, we're gonna help you out with Claire Natural Care. We're also gonna help you out with sheep. We're gonna capture some of that this morning. Minerals, mineral shawl, deep bedding. <laughs> you don't spook too easy? <laughs> they don't jump like a human would. You think they would, they're chicken. Let's try again. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry, I'm, ex I'm exasperating you. Have you ever noticed how the Bible said fathers don't exasperate your children? <laughs> you never see a mother exasperating a child. It's always the father. Fathers don't exasperate your chickens. He's a movie maker. We're gonna talk deep bedding now. Hopefully, are you pigs gonna behave? You'll have to pull footage from the vlog when we had sheep in here. Just I was telling me, we're almost out of milk for the piglets. Yeah. Two days left. Yeah. I think they're eating grain now, aren't they? So. And water. And are they getting it out of their auto feeder? I think. Okay, and I think they're about to be picked up in like 10 days or something, so. After the milk's done, it's done. They're drinking a lot of water? Yeah. Oh yeah. I love this job, really. Making content. Teaching others, inspiring you guys, teaching you different things I've learned on the homestead. And just being able to work with my family forever. It's not lost to me how, how how fortunate I am to have come across this job and I'm so thankful for all of you guys too. I don't tell you enough. I thank you for taking time out of your precious day to watch these shows. I thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as my late grandmother would say. Heck, how you doing? Go. How's Lily? That's what everybody wants to know. She's, She's doing, doing much yet? better. Mm -hmm. No fever? Uh, uh, no fever. I caught you while you're eating. I like for you to talk while you eat. Yeah. What's wrong? Your toe. All right, Dan, you tell the viewers. Do we have any time to spare? We have 17 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> He's, he comes over relaxed in his town shoes. I'm like, let's go do this. We got to fix this pipe and put in a pressure regulator. Can we do it in 17 minutes? No. <laughs> no. I know better. Why can't we pull it off? This is the, the line that burst. It took the... This is where all the pressure went. I can pull this off. This is so awesome. There it is. We're gonna go work on a 45 minute project. Austin, if you're editing this, I apologize. I can hardly see the screen. <laughs> this is bad. There's that. We fixed it where it bursted. Now let's go put the pressure regulator on it. Come on. Whoa. Is this better? I'll hold you. I've already set the pressure regulator on. It takes it from whatever pressure it is. It's probably. Right, my guess is probably 100. Blowing these fittings, these plastic fittings, and this will take it, it's already set to take it down to 50 PSI. So I'm gonna cut this and put this in here. I don't know if we can bury it. We'll have to, probably have to cover this before we bury it. Okay. This is gonna be a challenge because we have no way of warming these up and getting them on. So I'm gonna do this one first so that I can probably push from here to get it on. The first one we can just screw on. Now there'll be a lot of pressure right here, right? Because this will be before we take the pressure out of the line. Are you handing me that? <laughs> he's, got, he's got to give me the apple core. <laughs> got to have the apple core. Can't hang on to it. Can't throw it in the ground yourself. Let's go try it with the six minutes we have. Come on, let's go try it. This is a big deal. These cows will be in this pasture very soon. This is a big deal. How much okay. time left, Justin? Five minutes. Five minutes. Think right. we can do it? I think we Four can do it. Four minutes and 45 seconds. Go turn the water on. Right here at your feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, turn that on. Oh, yeah. 
Go test. Oh yeah. What do you think? Think it's gonna do it? I yeah, think Dan? it's gonna do yep. it. Think it's gonna do it, Dan? Oh yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It's so what do you want me to jump? Yeah. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Twenty-eight. No, 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 yeah, thirty seconds left. Woo! Whoa! Whoa. 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 That's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Did you catch that on film? Yeah. I feel like fifty pounds may still be too much. Is we it? We may have to crank it down. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I do? Down? Yeah, probably down, right? No, don't touch it. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, it's making it worse, I think. Hold on. Let me try now. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I think maybe I'm going. <laughs> maybe I'm going the wrong way. It's high it. Oh, it's, it's getting better. Okay, we're going the right direction. There we go. That's better, right? That's good. Minus I five minutes, negative, negative five minutes. Let's see if it water's making it through the whole system now. I gotta test this. I need to, it's time for launch, but we've gotta test this. It's, this could mean we're done. Here we go. Oh! You don't know how happy I am. This is water off the top of the mountain. No well, no electricity required. Have an automatic water on their trough. It's so fine. Is this? Very low pressure okay, on the line. Agree. Hey! Guess what? Chicken squat, that's what. Eat while it's hot. Chicken squat, that's what. That's what. What? <laughs> we got water under control. Although when I first pulled the trigger, it shot up like a geyser, like 30 feet in the air. And I adjusted the regulator and I got it under control. We succeeded. It's a happy ending. Happy day, everyone. See you next. And look what we have here. The cows. Our cost the street on new pasture. Yippee yay 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 yay. We have water from the mountain. Or not. Today was our rest day, and the whole plan was it's the timing so that the cows would come in today. And I'd come out here and exclaim that it's all fixed. Not the true story. Let's go test it up top. My initial thought is I'd probably crank that down too low. Or we're not getting water off top of the mountain, period. Or we've blown out the line somewhere down here from still having too much pressure. Oh no, and he's calling for mama. It's not gonna last much longer. At the top of the mountain, do we have water? Okay, we got water here. Okay, so water's going down through here. Should be going down our line. Either we've tightened down our pressure too much, or we have a break in the line. I'm down here at the geyser now. <gasps> I see leaking. It's happening up top. That will have anything here, yep. See the stream? <laughs> we have a repair. Let's go get a repair kit. So there's our pressure reducer. There's too much pressure up the hill. Meaning I should have put the pressure reducer up even earlier. Got our tools. Let's fix it. Want to? Yeah. Or do you want to just keep eating your apple? apple. We're back at the top of the mountain. Get in, turn off the water supply down the mountain, please. Now we can go down the hill and fix the break. Not this one. The one above it? I would suspect the ones lower down would have the most pressure on them. So maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe we just didn't put this on. Where is this? It's a male. It's a male to male joint. Do you see water, Henry? Yeah. See that? Yeah, it was the male to male. I guess there's as much pressure builds up up here eventually. Uh-oh. Hello. I pulled it up on both sides. That's what we're gonna do. In lieu of not wanting to move that pressure regulator, if I don't have to, I just need to secure it better right here. That's definitely the easier option as opposed to moving that regulator. Be right back, I'm gonna turn it on. The other pressure regulator is right here and we probably go up way more to the source and we aren't having these problems there. So hopefully we just did a Jerry job connecting this right here. Uh oh, he's pointing at it. Why are you pointing at it? You hear it? Hopefully you hear it and don't see it. It's leaking there a little bit already and it's not even, no pressure on it yet. It's all draining down the hill. Yeah, this shouldn't be leaking already. Get rid of our loins and really clamp it. <laughs> By the time we get to where the cows are, it should be coming through. I think I hear water. You hear it? It's running through these pipes. Yes, there we go. <laughs> That's the happy ending I was looking for. Fresh water to our cows off the mountain. Happy day, everyone. See you in the next one.